The Hugh Freedy Waterline Filter is designed for use on dental unit water lines attached to dynamic dental instruments. The product reduces microbial contamination and odor-causing bacteria in dental unit water lines. Thoroughly clean dental unit water lines with an appropriate antimicrobial cleaning agent following the manufacturer's instructions before installing the Hugh Freedy Waterline Filter for the first time. The Hugh Freedy Waterline Filter's barb fittings are sized for use with 1 quarter inch outside diameter by 1 8 inch interior diameter dental supply tubing. Please note that the filter has no designated inlet or outlet. Either orientation is acceptable. The filter features one barbed fitting that swivels to facilitate easier filter replacement when installed in an inline configuration. Begin by depressurizing and removing the dental bottle from the manifold. Hold the Hugh Freedy waterline filter alongside the riser tube hanging from the manifold and mark the riser tube as shown. Be sure to allow for at least a 1 quarter inch gap between the end of the Hugh Freedy waterline filter and the bottom of the bottle. If necessary, it's fine to unthread one of the barb fittings from the filter body for extra space when installed inside a dental bottle. Cut off the lower section of the riser tube at the mark using a tubing cutter, sharp knife, or scissors. Push a tubing sleeve onto the riser tube, then push the hose barb attached to the Hugh Freedy waterline filter into the tubing, making sure that it is fully engaged. Slide the tubing sleeve down over the hose barb and make sure that the barb fitting is firmly threaded into the Hugh Freedy waterline filter body. Fill the dental bottle with quality potable water and reattach to the manifold by sliding the Hugh Freedy waterline filter through the bottle opening. Pressurize the bottle as normal, then begin discharging all dental appliance lines, including handpieces, air water syringe, and quick disconnect lines for a few minutes each. The system is now ready for use. Depressurize the system that will utilize the Hugh Freedy waterline filter. Hold the Hugh Freedy waterline filter alongside the tubing where the installation is desired and mark the section of tubing to be removed. Cut the tubing at the marks using a tubing cutter, sharp knife, or scissors. Push the tubing sleeves onto both sections of tubing, then push the hose barbs on each end of the Hugh Freedy waterline filter into the tubing, making sure that both hose barbs are fully engaged. Slide the tubing sleeves down over the hose barbs and make sure that both barb fittings are firmly threaded into the Hugh Freedy waterline filter body. Reopen the valve at the water source and allow water to flow through the new filter by opening any device after the filter. Flow water through each connected device for several minutes. The system is now ready for use. Change the Hugh Freedy waterline filter after 240 liters or one year if water usage is not monitored, or if iodine levels fall to less than 0.5 parts per million. Turn off and depressurize devices attached to the filter. Replace the filter by unthreading the barb fittings from the expired filter, leaving the barb or barbs in place inside the tubing. Remove the expired filter. Unthread the barbs from the new filter and then thread the new filter onto the existing barb or barbs, making sure the fittings are firmly threaded into the new filter body. Before cleaning water lines with any type of antimicrobial shock treatment, always remove the Hugh Freedy water line filter first. Replace the section of tubing temporarily, clean and rinse the lines, Remove the temporary tubing and then replace or reinstall the filter. Please note that following CDC and ADA guidelines for aseptic procedures, including a 2-minute morning flush, a 20-30 to 30 second flush between patients, and handpiece sterilization, must be continued after the installation of this product.